Hey, it's your brother Marcus from the Netherlands, Phil Kingdom Come. Welcome to the last episode for season 6. For this episode, I asked the young lady what she would want to know about faith and choose a topic for me. She said she wanted to know why God allowed certain things to happen in the world or in somebody's life. I thought about it in the back of my mind the last couple of days and this is what we are diving into. Why does God allow bad things to happen to people or in the world around us? It is a very good question, which I hope to clarify today. First we are going to take a look at the individual circumstances and why God does allow those to happen. There are some things as a human being that can happen to you outside of your control. For instance, sickness. Why does God allow for someone to get sick and get a certain disease? Especially a disease that is painful and even lose life like cancer. Why does cancer even exist? If God is so good, then why do we have something in the world like cancer? When you see a small child who did nothing wrong, get cancer and suffer much pain and die from this disease, then it's understandable that some people say like, well, that God of yours ain't good if he allows for a child to get this disease and that if he were good, he would do something about it. Instead of using your own perception as to why, let's take a look at the perspective. For this to be understood, it is important to look at the big picture and thus perspective instead of the narrow view of your perception. God does love people and takes care of everyone. What people seem to pass by is, is that human beings and or forces of evil brought these things upon themselves. Everything people consume these days, everything from the air to the tap water you drink is highly polluted with chemicals that humans produced. In the name of industrialism, science and healthcare, people are exposed to highly toxic chemicals which causes faults in the human immune system. A very lot of food is processed and contains toxic substances. 85% of all people in the world has a supplement deficiency. Cancer is an immune disease and therefore not a disease of itself. When people live in highly toxic environment and they have deficiency of vitamins, amino acids and antioxidants, they are highly vulnerable to toxics and chemicals up to their DNA. And then there is a high chance that people in the world get more and more cancer at a higher rate than 100 years ago. But in this case there is also a spiritual element to this disease, because some people have never smoked one cigarette and get lung cancer, while others have smoked heavy tobacco for 50 years and do not get lung cancer. God is in control and does allow people to get sick or stay healthy. If we look at the story of Job, Satan keeps on asking God for a tribulation to befall Job in order to get Job not to love God anymore and abandon his faith. Some people cannot stand why God does not intervene so that things do not happen to human beings. But this world is a sandbox. God left people with the choice to love God and to love and to be good to one another and to take care of the world they are born into. If human beings would have listened and adhered to his love, he wouldn't be in such a mess. Innocent people die by the hands of other people who are in control of this world. They have listened and they have this control because they listen to Satan and Satan being the ruler of this world we live in. 
Most Christians do not want to hear this, but yes, Satan rules this world and is allowed to rule this world and thus get the time and the freedom to do so in between humans. It is up to people themselves to withstand Satan with and by the power and the name of Jesus Christ. Christ came 2000 years ago to save people. But when he comes back, he does not come to save, but to destroy everything that is without faith, without love, and to forever deal with wickedness, lawlessness. If people are sick, then it is up to us to heal them. When people are bound to the demonic, it is up to us to free them. When people love the lie instead of the truth, it is up to us to convince them to love the truth. When people are lacking knowledge, it is up to us to teach them true knowledge. And therefore, do so with the love God gave us to spread around us like a light in the darkness. And remember, you can go into a dark room and bring a candle into it and make it light in the darkness. But you cannot walk into a well-lit room full of light and bring darkness into the light. That is it for today folks. Enjoy this beautiful day. Peace.